today on The Supernatural Now. In the name of Jesus, release a new dimension of power. And I commission this people to go to the city, churches, family, business. And I commission them to go to heal the sick, to cast out demons, to preach the gospel. I commission them. I release a new dimension of power of the Spirit of God promise for the end time. The Supernatural Now with Apostle Guillermo Maldonado. God bless you, everyone. Welcome to The Supernatural Now. I'm Apostle Guillermo Maldonado, and I welcome you. I'm expecting for you to see and receive your miracle. You're about to see the supernatural encounter in South Africa. This was very powerful. South Africa, we saw 81 miracles in five minutes. And not healing, creating miracles. People were missing organs in their bodies. And that took place in this supernatural encounters in South Africa. I want you to enjoy it at your home. Enjoy it. Receive that impartation. Because what God did in South Africa, God can do it for you. Let's watch. When I count to three, the fire will come upon you. Fire for His presence. Fire for souls. Every pastor, every leader, every woman, every man. If you're watching me at home, I want you to have an experience with the fire. What? In the summer of 2012, Apostle Guillermo Maldonado traveled to South Africa with a single mandate, mobilize the people to take the supernatural power of God across Africa. Through demonstrations of miracles, signs, and wonders, countless men and women of God were inspired and raised up to answer the call of mobilization. From that gathering, the leaders were ignited to transform this nation for the glory of God. Five years later, South Africa was once again ready to experience the next wave of God's power. Thousands traveled from every corner of the continent and its surrounding nations, ready to receive a fresh impartation with an expectation to be transformed. He said to me, I want you to go back. I want you to go back to South Africa. Ignite the fire, my remnant. He said, I want you to bring revival to South Africa. We came here not to leave the same. We want a revival, we want to go and win souls and impact the kingdom. So I want a face-to-face -face encounter with the Lord. We desire the supernatural movement for the power of God. I traveled 18 hours to get my supernatural healing. So this is our moment. We expect it. Science, miracles and wonders. My expectation for this county is for, for the supernatural to flow in South Africa. So we can be hungry, thirsty for more of God. We really expect a supernatural turnaround in South Africa. Apostle Maldonado and his team were ready to usher in the next phase of God's plan. Each speaker brought a unique word for everyone in attendance. As the Apostle spoke on faith, the people were taught that in order to receive their miracle, they not only had to believe, but also work their miracle. The supernatural is above and beyond reason. When you walk in faith, you're going to have to be prepared to break the, the laws of nature. Faith by nature is supernatural. Say it with me. It is supernatural. supernatural. Say it. When people tell you <laughs> they are living by faith and we don't see anything supernatural in their life, that is no faith. Your faith cannot be found in three things. Number one, traditions of men. Tradition is a stronghold of the mind. 
is a stronghold of the mind that is passed on from generation from generation and the next generation do it and they don't know why they do it so your faith cannot be found in traditions of men why there's powerful effects of the traditions of men number one write it down causes people to be poor number two causes people to be sick three causes the word of god a non-effect number four it blocks the power of god number five it causes stagnation if you stagnated in your ministry that is a sign you're doing a tradition the religion causes people to conform to be structured rigid in the way they think your faith must be found in three things now the positive side number one the faith must be found in the person of Jesus Christ somebody say yeah I believe that wait a minute your faith must be in first in a person before is on things number two your faith must be established in the finished work of Jesus Christ number three finish with this your faith must be standing in the power of God why everyone here must have an experience with the power of God you know why because if you don't faith is gonna be a theory I believe in Jesus tell me that Jesus is alive now well I know he is well demonstrate it because when you experience the power your faith cannot be shaken your faith cannot be moved there's five things the Spirit of God told me to do number one how many close your eyes for a moment quickly and then I will minister miracles how many of you tonight says to me apostle I was ready to depart from my faith in Jesus Christ I got this courage I didn't want to keep fighting I was ready to go to depart I want to see your hands I want you to stand and don't be ashamed don't be sad just lift your hands before the Lord number two how many people here tonight or those that are watching by the internet and television saying to me apostle I have mixtures in my faith I have searched other opinions and points of view and I want to repent tonight I want to see your hands repeat after me and those that are watching my television say with me father god, father god. Tonight, tonight everybody say father god, father god. Tonight, tonight i repent, I repent. For, looking for looking at other opinions other points of view, points of view. Father, forgive father forgive me i repent i, repent. I was discouraged i was ready to depart but tonight I heard the word I renounce the strongholds of traditions I renounce the strongholds of religion I renounce say I renounce I renounce the wisdom of men right now and I am free and I make a decision to put my total faith in Jesus Christ my Savior and my Lord Jesus from now on from now on I put my faith not on things but in you you gave me a measure of faith say father tonight I make a decision 
to live by faith, to walk by faith, to move by this faith, to move in the supernatural. Faith is the starting point of the supernatural. And tonight, say tonight, I am activated in the supernatural to move in miracles, signs and wonders. The supernatural is a lifestyle. I make a decision right now, right now, I make a decision to preach the gospel, to raise the dead, to cast out demons, to prophesy, to move in the spirit. The Holy Spirit empowers me right now in the name of Jesus. Father, I am hungry. I am hungry. I want more. I want more. I want to see your glory. I want to see your power. Thank you, Lord. I receive an impartation of a new dimension of faith. Father, I work my faith. I operate my faith. I sleep by faith. I get up by faith. I fight by faith. I sell by faith. I move by faith. I prophesy by faith. I act by faith. I am ready. Father, I receive a new dimension of faith in my life. Now, now, receive it now. She was blind. She was blind. I have a medical report saying that she can't see. But tonight, the power of God, as you declare the word of faith, the power of God came upon her. She can see without any struggle. And we have doctor, we have confirmed her condition that she can see today. How many years? How many years were you blind, daughter? It's over, it's over 30 years. How many years? Over 30 years. 30 years. And why, why did you lose your, your eye? I, I, I think I was playing, I don't remember, but I've been using spectacles since. Completely blind from the right eye. Yes. This eye. And can you see me now? Yes. Doctor, can you cover it? surgery she was condoned to this wheelchair she could not walk more than a few feet by herself her son prayed for her and now she walks all the way from the back to this altar and up the stairs for the glory of God how long she has been in the wheelchair she was she had an uncle about 10 years ago person she couldn't walk on her own but now thank you God that he has delivered her. By your stripes I have been healed. I can walk, but I can walk. I can walk. Walk, walk, daughter, walk, 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 Put your wheelchair. Push it. Push it. Push it. Push it. Push it. Turn it. Turn it. Turn it. So die had a tumor on his head and a bunch of mess of vertebrates on his neck. The power of God came over them. They moving, he's moving his neck. The power of God is over this man. They have received a created miracle today. What happened? What happened? What happened? Listen, that this is awesome. When your faith is alive. Oh Jesus, tell me what happened, son. What happened? I was in an accident six years ago. They could not operate on my neck. And they said, I'm, I'm never going to be fine. And then recently they said, I've got a cyst on my brain. And I, I'm not going to make it. But tonight, when you, when you spoke about faith, that I had a mixture of faith. Because I am a pastor. And I said, Lord, you have to heal me so that I can pray for my people in my church because I believe in God. He's my healer. He's 
God was reigniting the faith of His children through visible miracles, manifesting Himself as the Almighty Healer and Creator. This night, 81 miracles of every kind took place, but this was just the beginning of what God had planned for the people of South Africa. By the next morning, the atmosphere was set. During a leadership summit, more than 1,000 pastors and leaders were gathered to be sent out as ministers of the supernatural. However, God longed to reveal Himself first as their loving Father, who knows that in order to transform an entire nation, it was necessary to first bring healing and renewal to the ones who would carry it out. I want you to close your eyes. The heart of God is healing. Say with me, Father God, tonight I come before you. You are my Papa. I am your son. And today, reveal yourself to me, Holy Spirit. Reveal the fatherhood of God. has taught the leaders that the criteria to be in ministry is to have an outpouring of supernatural evidence. This was reinforced when two different church leaders each shared their own testimonies about God's resurrection power. These are pastors from Madagascar. In 2014, they started reading Pastor Maldonado's book, The Glory of God. Since then, they saw a supernatural movement in their church and in their ministry. Since then, they have had four resurrections in their ministry. They have seen countless miracles and supernatural church growth. What happened? Tell us. The last resurrection happened on the 27th of November. It's a 10-year-old girl and she died at seven in the morning. And all the members of the House of Peace Leader came in the house and they prayed for her. At midnight, she came back to life. Glory to God. Yes. So my brother's grandson died and everyone in the family was shaken. His grandson dies and he said, hold on a moment, I receive an impartation. I'm gonna let him do the talking now. He wow. went home after three days that the grandchild had died. He went in there, he spoke life into that child, and by the power of Jesus Christ, that grandchild rose from the dead, and now he's here to testify about it. On the 23rd of December, 2015, I had a call from my daughter to say that they had found a son floating in the pool. At that time, he was one year and eight months old. The doctors and the nurses had had a meeting with us and they said there's nothing they can do. My daughter, she's a prayer warrior and she told the doctor, if there's nothing you could do, I'm ending this child into Jesus' hand right now. On Christmas Day, our service like, was like a funeral service. We wept and we cried. Three days later, he took me into this room. You know, I believe in God, but at that time, I couldn't even breathe. I looked at this child, full of tubes, covered with foil. I took a bottle of oil and I basically sprayed him from head to toe, head to toe. And I said, Lord, I believe in you. I believe that you raised Lazarus from the dead. I didn't see it. But I want a supernatural touch on my grandson. He was wriggling. His lungs had popped. Everything had popped. He was wriggling. The nurses asked me, what did you do? I said, I did nothing. My Jesus did it. A revival was imminent as the supernatural encounter entered its peak hour. 
thousands in the arena and millions at home received as Apostle shared what the Lord had revealed to him behind the end time glory movement. Those who are watching by the internet, those who are watching by television, in the name of Jesus, release a new dimension of power. And I commission this people to go to the city, churches, family, business. And I commission them to go to heal the sick, to cast out demons, to preach the gospel. I commission them. I release a new dimension of power of the Spirit of God promise for the end time. God unleashed wave after wave of His presence with one final wave of fire over the people proving that what he started in Africa, he intended to finish. As the people hungered for this end time revival, Apostle Maldonado had one final word to release over South Africa. The spirit of prophecy is to come up on me. You will see throughout Africa, and especially South Africa, in the different corners, remnants of people Portals being open, portals of miracles, portals, and you will see in certain cities of South Africa, people will come to church without no one inviting them. They will sense an urgency to run to me, says God. I am wakening the leaders. I am wakening this nation, says God. I bring to you and to tell you, you will come out from here and you are a carrier of revival. You are a carrier of an outpouring. Wherever you go, says God, a supernatural activity is going with you. God brought the revival He promised. The hearts of the people were renewed. Mental strongholds were broken. A nation was activated. There were 357 salvations and over 170 documented testimonies of every kind, with over 4,200 in attendance and millions more witnessing through the airwaves. God was glorified. What began in 2012 entered its next phase with this encounter and set the stage for the next chapter of the movement of God. Africa will never be the same. Blessings, you just finished hearing a powerful message by Apostle Maldonado. And you must say, tell Pastor, I need a miracle in my body, a healing, deliverance. I want you to just right now lay your hand in the part of the body where you need a miracle because that atmosphere is ready for God to create that organ, for God to heal your body, to deliver you in your mind. I see people right now, you are being healed from bone conditions. I see paralysis being healed. I see people with arthritis being healed. I see a man who you've been paralyzed. You have not been able to move for over two years. God, as a matter Matter of fact, you are hearing your bones cracking now. It's because God is giving you a creative miracle. Eyesight has been healed. New, there is someone uh, who God is just creating a new liver. Lay your hands, whatever you need, that miracle. Father, I release creative miracles upon the people. Healings, deliverance, there's people battling, bound in their minds. I set you free now. You just heard the message. I want you to go walk in it and apply it. If perhaps you say, Pastor, you know, I heard the, the message. I, I, I got convicted. I used to serve Jesus. I'm no longer walking with Jesus, but I want to reconcile. Or perhaps you have not received Jesus as your Lord and Savior. This is the moment, my friend, that you can do that. Say this prayer with me. Say, Heavenly Father, I recognize that I am a sinner and my sin separates me from you. I confess with my mouth and I believe with my heart that Jesus is 
is the Son of God who died for my sins and God the Father raised from the dead. Today, my friend, you just got born again. Send us an email, write to us, let us know who you are because we believe that today you've been born again. Your life will never be the same again. So we bless you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for continuing to carry this movement of the supernatural all across the world. Blessings. See you soon. Supernatural encounters are sweeping the nations, impacting lives with miracles, deliverance, and salvation. Our partners support medical outreaches, feeding the hungry, clothing the poor, and caring for those in desperate need. Through TV, radio, and social media broadcasts, over one billion people are being impacted by the supernatural power of God. You see a lot of kids now receiving toys, food. This is what I want you to see where your seed is going. So thank you very much for your support. These children would have no one to minister the love of God to them if it wasn't for this ministry. Thank you for supporting us. Que Dios los bendiga. Call 877-286-5585 or register online at kingjesusministry.org. There is a supernatural encounter coming to a city near you. Taipei, Taiwan, June 7th through the 9th at the Bread of Life Christian Church. Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, June 30th through July 2nd at the MBPJ Stadium. Phoenix, Arizona, July 14th and 15th at North Hills Church. For more information, visit SupernaturalEncounter.org. KingJesus.tv Access the supernatural anywhere. This program is paid for by the friends and partners of Apostle Guillermo Maldonado and King Jesus International Ministries.